Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. It's been absolutely ages since I've done one, but I'm back and this time we are going to explore Tesco's charging station with Podpoint. My wife just got a new car, it's a Volkswagen Passat GTE Hybrid. I think I've got that all alright. So yeah, we're going to go and find out how to charge up at Tesco's Podpoint because they've partnered with Volkswagen. So. Uh, we're going to start by um, downloading the app and see what we have to do there and then I'm actually going to let Claire present to you because it's her car and the best way to learn is to do it for yourself. The first thing we need to do is go to the PodPoint app which I've just installed from Google Play. So we're just going to open it up, this is the first time I've opened it up, I'm going to allow uh, access to location while using the app which is the second option now we're just going to go through this step by step and see what it is that we need to do so read through the guidance there next and search for our pod point confirm that we're charging and then just to start unplug your car okay Let's have a look. So these are all the pod point locations around the country. And then I'm guessing we need to set up an account. So let's click on there and we'll sign up. Right, so I'm just going to pause the video while I fill in my details. So I've just uh, signed up. I had to enter my name, country and email. And this is the next page now. So it wants details about our vehicle so I'm just going to fill that in and we've now got a Volkswagen or oh, my wife's got Volkswagen all the way to the bottom Passat oh there we are Passat add my vehicle okay and now it wants payment details so although Volkswagen, Tesco and PowerPoint appear to have partnered up and um, it's saying that it's free to charge I believe that there are some points that do still require payment so it's always a good idea to put in your payment details so you're all prepared ready to go so bear with me and I'll put my details in I've added my uh, bank details now my card details and this is the next page so add a pod point home charger connect your home charger um, we don't have a home charger. You'll have seen from my other videos that um, at the minute we plug into a normal domestic plug. Um, so I'm just going to select I don't have a home charger right now. So you can see I haven't put anything um, on on my balance. If I go to top up, um, I can have £5 ready to go or however much I want. So if I come out of that um, and it's got all my vehicle details, tell me tells me what kind of socket I need, so a type 2 socket um, and then just your generic stuff down at the bottom there and if I get a pod point in the future I can add it there to add your home pod point right let's see how we get on all right Claire so this is your first time charging your uh, Volkswagen Passat hybrid car what do you want to tell us about it? So I'm pulled up at the Tesco um, station with the new pod point and I'm going to try it out. It's saying that you can charge for free while you shop. Um, so I've downloaded the pod point app on my phone and I'm just unraveling the cable for the first time and now I'm going to plug it into my car, plug it into the pod point and follow the instructions on the screen. So hopefully it's as simple as they have said it is. On the front of the Passat, you have to press in and the window pops open for you to see your charge point. And then you uncover the charge point and obviously you can see the charger that goes in that side. So you make sure that's securely in and there's a light there, which I presume means we're all okay and we're in. And then we get the cable on the other side into here, which is the Sage Eden pod point. And they have different references, it says. So that's gone green. So we'll just come around to this screen. And the cable. It says on the machine to plug your car in and then choose your pod point on the app. 
so that's what I'm just going to do pod point and then if I just search for clay cross because that's where we are ah sorry when you click on that it should show you the available sockets available and we are at Sage Eden so I'm selecting that one and I don't know what that choose B because I'm on door B and see what happens charge confirmed so yeah we're just looking at this again and on the pod points app you can see now that the side that we selected shows charging and um, so green light on the front of the car green light on the machine and the app confirms that this is now charging and at the top it says no cost for this charge the screen stayed exactly the same so it's the the app that you need to be referring to we've been shopping and the shopping uh, the charging might be free but the shopping wasn't so we've come out and i found on the app how to use this charger so if you if you just click should have done this earlier but it takes you through exactly what to do how to charge and then obviously step four how to stop charging so when you come back obviously because you've unlocked your vehicle it should now allow you to unplug the vehicle so i'm just going to try that now because obviously i've never done this before so um i presume that's what will happen so it's obviously the car is unlocked so when your car is actually unlocked you can unplug the charger and then obviously we're just going to take it off from here now because it's not charging and that is it and then I believe what we should see now if I just go onto the app again and what we should now be able to see is because we've finished charging you should be able to see your stats for the week and for the month so it should show me exactly how much we've charged so no cost we've added up to four kilowatts per hour of charge and we were literally shopping an hour so just to conclude our trip to tesco we were there for an hour we did an hour's worth of shopping the car which means the car was on charge for an hour and we used the seven kilowatt per hour um, charging point and we ended up with eight miles so this is worth bearing in mind it seems to be a very slow charge Obviously this is the first time that we've been to one of these chargers. I, I believe that there are higher kilowatt chargers available as well. Um, as and when we go to these, I'll update the videos and do various links uh, to this video. So watch out for those. Um, but this is certainly worth bearing in mind. To see more about different types of chargers, you can click on the playlist here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you've been to a Tesco charger, I'd love to know your experience and what you found, uh, so please comment below. Until next time, take care.